Okay. All right. So you back up into position. Yep. Okay. So there you go. All right. So here's what's going to happen. So in a minute, I'm going to count three, two, one, and then go. And then you're going to wait 10 seconds. And you wait 10 seconds for the purposes, of course, of of uh, getting a good sound profile so we can eliminate any background or silent noise that's there. Okay. And so count to yourself 10 seconds, and then you begin just as if I had asked you the question. Okay? Okay. And so you're going to go through it. So right now you want to back up just a hair, a little bit more, and you're good. Okay, and you click record, you got it recording, so that's good. All right, so deep breath, and there we go. I now All right, you ready to rock it? Hold on one second, so, so I'm gonna wait about 10 seconds, give or take, after I take my deep breath again. And then I'm just simply gonna read everything and you'll edit in the questions and everything. Yeah, so you're gonna, you're gonna say it as if I just said to you, so Thomas, when somebody's really looking for a great fitness professional, what are some of the things they should know? And more importantly, when they find one, what are some of the things they should look for? So you want to speak as if I just asked you that. Okay. And then after I'm done answering that question, do I wait again? Do I, what do I do after each, when I'm done giving my tips and everything else? Now just go ahead and flow with it from start to finish. And then if you, if you mess up for any reason, just stop. Pause for five seconds and then just start back where you left off. So if you don't like something you did or you want to change it, just stop there, pause for a few moments, and then start back. Okay. So is that in the right spot for you? Yep, you're good. All right. <laughs> All right. Here comes so, that. Um, yep. So three, two, one, and go. Can I pause for a second? You still there? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, right. go ahead. I just muted myself out so you didn't pick up your background noise. Go ahead. Okay, because I didn't see your picture there for a second. That's why I didn't know if anything stopped. All well, right. I, I got rid of my picture so that it would eliminate it out of the video and the recording. All right, no problem. So I'll just start now then? Yep, count, count to 10 and then go. Often I'm asked, how do you go about finding a fitness professional that's right for you? The problem is that finding the right fitness professional, yep, here we go again. Editor's gonna love me. I'm often asked, how do you go about finding the right fitness professional? The problem is that finding the right fitness professional, sorry, this may take a little while. No, you're okay, you're good, just, you're fine. Three, two, three. I'm often asked, how do I go about finding the right fitness professional? The problem is that finding the right fitness professional can feel a little bit overwhelming for some people. The good news is that it doesn't have to be difficult if you know how to answer the right questions. And I think I looked at the camera, so I think that's kind of wrong. Sorry. Just cut me off if I do something really, really wrong and it just doesn't look right for you. <clears throat> no, no, you're good, go ahead. I'm often asked, how do you go about finding the right fitness professional? The problem is that finding the right fitness professional can feel a little bit overwhelming to some people. The good news is it doesn't have to be. Searching for a great fitness professional to suit your needs can be challenging. Fine. I hate scripts. <clears throat> Give me a sec. I'm often asked, how do I go about finding the right fitness professional? The problem is that finding the right fitness professional can feel a little bit overwhelming, but the good news is that it doesn't have to be difficult if you know to answer the right questions. Answer, good. I'm often asked, how do you go about finding the right fitness professional? The problem is that finding the right fitness professional can feel a little bit overwhelming. The good news is it doesn't have to be if you ask the right questions. Searching for a great fitness professional or a trainer in your area to suit a client's needs can be challenging. Finding an expert that is close by with flexible hours that you know, can suit your needs can be really, really important. I'd like to give you a few tips today on finding the right fitness professional that works for you. 
Number one tip, their location and flexibility. You wanna make sure that the location is right for you, that it's in driving distance, whether you're coming to or from work. Also, you wanna make sure based on your hectic schedule, where whether you're a dad or a mom, family or not, that they have flexible hours for you as well. So that you can get in and get your training in and get your results, best results possible. Number two, the reputation would be of the, I do have 45 minutes, right? Uh, you're good, brother. You're good. You're fine. I'm okay with that. Go ahead. I'm often asked how you go about finding the right fitness professional to meet your needs. The problem is finding the right fitness professional, and you gave me some tongue twisters. <clears throat> I'm often asked how you go about finding the right fitness professional. The problem is that finding the right fitness professional in your area doesn't have to be overwhelming or difficult if you ask the right questions. Virgin. <clears throat> hey, Thomas. Yeah. What'd you eat for dinner last night? Right now, I don't remember. But chicken and broccoli, probably, or chicken and uh, salad. Okay. What'd you have for breakfast this morning? A yogurt and an egg sandwich. Oh, regular yogurt or flavored? Flavored. What's your flavor? Normally it's with fruit in it. Good job in trying to count. What is it? Before. Fruit in? Uh, the ingredient was fruit. Nice. Very nice. All right. Um, so how many calories you usually take in a day? I uh, usually take in anywhere between 16 to 1800 calories. Okay. Well, so I promise you that this is as easy as eating those meals. And so it's easy to do what you're going to do now. And again, don't fret about anything that you might deem as a mistake. The main thing is I want you to picture this. Is I want you to picture that you are talking to somebody who's never stepped foot in your gym before and that they are completely oblivious. And you know when you're staring at them and talking to them that they absolutely need your help. That they don't understand what it is that they need to know. And so I want you to focus on your script as if they're that person. Okay? Got it. Because your, your heart is in it, but your brain's getting in the way. Got it. So go ahead and start from scratch. And it doesn't matter if it takes 15, 20, 30 takes. We're going to get it right for you, but I have a feeling that after you do it this way, you're going to nail it. Okay. All right, so you, I'm going to mute myself out, brother. You take a minute, count back three, two, one, and then go 10 seconds and let it rip. Three, two, one. I'm often asked, how do you find the right fitness professional? Finding the right fitness professional, to be honest with you, it doesn't really have to be that difficult. Honestly, only if you ask the right questions. It really three. Two, one. I'm often asked, how do you find the right fitness professional? Finding the right fitness professional for some people doesn't really have to be that difficult if you ask the right questions. You know what? There's three things you can actually ask somebody that I found out. Would you, would you throw in, like as if I'm talking to somebody, would you throw in, do you mind if I give you a few tips? Would you throw that in? Or you just say, I'm gonna give you a few tips on finding that right person? The main thing that you want to remember is this, is that it's third person. So remember, you're talking as if you're talking to, um, you're talking to that person. So you're talking to the interviewer and the person that's watching the video is a third party watching it happen. So when you say that, you say, I'm often asked, you know, what are some of the things that somebody needs to know and look for a fitness professional? Do that. And then you say, um, a couple of tips that I would recommend for somebody looking for a fitness professional would be X, Y, and Z. Okay. So it's not about speaking directly to them. It's about speaking to the interviewer 
of what somebody would look for if they're trying to find a fitness profession. Okay. <clears throat> Here we go. Three, two, one. I'm often asked, how do you go about finding the right fitness professional? The problem is that finding the right fitness professional doesn't really have to be difficult for some people. I want, oh, I want to say unless. Three, two, one. I'm often asked, how do you go about finding the right fitness professional? Finding the right fitness professional doesn't really have to be that difficult, especially if you ask the right questions. I'm going to share a few tips for you in finding the right fitness professional that can work for many people. Tip number one, what I would say, would be their location and flexibility. You want to make sure that you can actually get the facility uh, as often as possible to make sure that you get your training in to get to the best results. Also, many people have many different difficult schedules with family and friends and so forth. So you want to make sure that facility has flexible hours to accommodate for you, again, to get to the best results. Because at the end of the day, that's what it's about. Second tip I would say is a reputation. You want to make sure that the people you're going to has your best interest at heart, okay, is there for you, and that, you know, can, can get you the best results. So overall, you want to be able to look for maybe six to ten different types of reviews or see maybe what they have done and sorry that's right back up back up to the part where you just broke away to the next section and start from that area so tip number two yeah were you after you did the intro yes got it do you want me to count down or no sure you can go ahead three two Second tip I would offer is finding a place or a business or uh, three, two. The second tip I would offer for finding a fitness professional or a business that's right for you to train in would be finding a place with a very good reputation. There are many fitness facilities out there that just may not suit your needs. You want to be able to find anywhere between six to ten possible reviews on the internet and in local newspapers or anywhere that can give you some information about the facility that you're looking for. Third tip you want to be able to do is, okay, so we'll edit the end of that out. I'll go to number three. Is that all right? Yes. Three, two, one. Final tip I would give is finding the credentials of the fitness professional or the fitness business that you want to work with. You want to find a professional that is always continuing to educate themselves in the fitness industry and is up to date on how to get the best results possible for their members. Our expertise here is fat loss and small group training at Strive Fitness. We focus on giving members that individual attention that feel in a small group environment and tons of support. For those that want to learn more, they can go to www.strivefitnessnj.com or simply call us at 732-307-2150. We're happy to help you because the key to our success is to help create an environment of raving fans and at one family. I was right there for you. I'm going to do tip number three over again, and then we should be good. Three, two, and my final tip, tip number three, would be their credentials. You want to find a fitness professional that is always continuing to educate themselves in the fitness industry and is up to date on how to get the best results for the members. Our expertise here at Strive Fitness, we specialize in fat loss and small group team environment. Sorry. One more time, I promise. <clears throat> My final tip is to find a fitness professional with their credentials. Mm -hmm. Tip number three would be finding out about a fitness professional's credentials. Oh, hope you're getting a good laugh on this. <clears throat> My final tip, tip number three, would be finding a fitness professional and find out about their credentials. You want to be able to find out a fitness move. My third and final tip would be finding out a fitness professional. Man. A third and final tip when finding about the best fitness professional that works for you is finding out about their credentials. You want to make sure when you're finding out a fitness. Mm. 
My third and final tip when researching about a fitness professional that works for you is finding out about their credentials. You want to find a fitness professional that is always continuing to educate themselves in the fitness industry and is up to date on how to get the best results possible for their members. Our expertise is in fat loss and small group training here at Strive Fitness. We focus on giving our members that individual attention in a small group environment and accountability. For those who want to learn more, they can go to www.strivefitnessnj.com or you can simply call us at 732-307-2150. We're happy to help you because the way our business grows is to be able to build Strive. You're good. Yeah. Just pick up on the uh, pick got, up on the part where you lay in the plane. Yeah, I gotta I gotta do that again. Just give me one one try on that. <clears throat> My third and final tip is to learn about the fitness professional's credentials. You want to be able to find a fitness professional that is always continuing to educate themselves and their team in the fitness industry and is up to date on how to get the best results for their members. Our expertise here at Strive Fitness is in fat loss and small group training. We focus on giving members that individual attention they feel they may not be getting somewhere else, and also get that special feel in a small group environment with a lot of accountability. For those who want to learn more, they can go to www.strivefitnessnj.com, or they can simply call us at 732-215. Fuck that up. <clears throat> A third and final tip is to learn about a fitness professional's credentials. You want to be able to find a fitness professional that is always continuing to educate themselves in the fitness industry and is up to date on how to get the best results for their members. Our expertise here at Strive Fitness is fat loss and small group training. We focus on giving our members that individual attention and feel in a small group environment. For those that want to learn more, they can simply go to strivefitnessnj.com or please call us at 732-307-2150. We're happy to help you because the key to our success is to help create an environment of raving Strive fans, one family member at a time. There you go. All right. Stop recording. Do better now? Yeah. I do better. Yeah, you can stop recording now. <laughs>